The largest and most fast-growing continent on Earth is home to some of the most wonderful animals that we've never seen in our lives. But Asia is the chosen home of a lot of endangered species, too. And if something doesn't happen, a lot of them are going to become extinct very soon. The rapid development of land for use by humans poses a deadly threat to many animals, and unfortunately, many Asian governments do very little in order to protect these environments. In today's top 10, we're going to see the rarest animal species in Asia. Are you ready to be amazed once again by the animal kingdom? Let's go. Number one is the proboscis monkey. This funny looking monkey is known either as the proboscis monkey or long nose monkey or the Dutch monkey. The latter is because of the Dutch settlers who arrived in Indonesia and the locals believe they look like these monkeys because of their big noses and bellies. Unfortunately, their unattractiveness makes them a difficult fit for conversation marketing, and because of this reason, coupled with the deforestation, the population of the proboscis monkey has declined during the last 40 years. It's considered one of the largest monkey species that's native to Asia, and it's also famous for the intense sexual dimorphism. The males and females look absolutely different both size-wise, but also because the males have very large noses that hang over their mouth, and the females have significantly smaller ones, but they're also pretty big for a monkey. Number two is the Sayola. If you've ever wondered about the existence of unicorns, we're here to tell you that yes, they actually exist, or at least the Sayola does, which are also known as an Asian unicorn, and upon seeing it, we'll see why it gained that nickname. The Sayola is one of the rarest animals in the world and unfortunately critically endangered. They're related to cattle, goats, and antelopes, and are also one of the world's rarest large mammals. If you're hoping to see one up close, know they can only be found in the Anamite range of Vietnam and Laos, although you shouldn't get your hopes up because it has a natural aversion to human proximity. We can't blame them since the locals are hunting them for illegal trade in furs as well as traditional medicines and even for the use of their meat in restaurants. Number three is the Yangtze River Dolphin. The Baji, otherwise known as the Yangtze River Dolphin and the much more lustrous goddess of the Yangtze, is a freshwater dolphin and it's so critically endangered and rare there's a possibility it's already extinct. Moreover, it's been credibly claimed that the Baji might have actually been the first dolphin species in history that humans have driven to extinction. That's because of the industrialization of the Chinese rivers, not only for fishing, but also for transportation and hydroelectricity. The last known living Baji was Chi Chi, who died in 2002. Let's hope that there are some more out there. Number four is the Javan Rhino. 60 individuals that live only in Ujong Cologne National Park in Java, Indonesia are the last remnants of the species of this magnificent beast. This species is a dusky gray color and has a single horn of up to about 10 inches. Its skin has a number of loose folds, giving the appearance of armor plating. They're very similar in appearance to the one-horn rhinos, but the Javan rhinos have a much smaller head and less skin folds than their relatives. It's said that the Vietnam War took a huge impact on the species, and it is one of the main reasons they're nearly extinct. The last one that was poached in Vietnam was in 2010. Number five is the red panda. These amazingly photogenic pandas are native to the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China. And apart from making the rounds of the internet with their cuteness, they're also unfortunately an endangered species with less than 10,000 left. Their population continues to decline for many reasons, some of them being poaching and inbreeding depression. The red pandas have red-brown fur, a long shaggy tail that keeps them warm in the winter, short legs, and about the size of a domestic cat with a longer body. Contrary to popular belief, the red pandas are not related to the giant pandas. Number six, the Saiga antelope. The Saiga antelope has a weird, super weird looking face, but an even weirder and more amazing ability to migrate, which is due to the loss of habitat and illegal hunting. It is a critically endangered species, and today the dominant subspecies 
is only found in one region in Russia and three areas in Kazakhstan. A portion of the Ustert population migrates south to Uzbekistan and occasionally to Turkmenistan in the winter. It is extinct in China and southwestern Mongolia. A prominent feature of the saiga is a pair of closely spaced, bloated nostrils directed downward, the dark markings on their cheeks, nose, and their long ears. Number seven is tarsiers. There are so many things to say about these amazingly cute looking animals. They're only found in Southeast Asia and they're so tiny, only four to six inches tall. The prominent feature of the tarsiers is of course, their huge eyes, which are about the same size of their brain. They're carnivorous and they feed on insects and they hunt by ambush. Unfortunately, the tarsiers have suicidal tendencies. When they feel extreme stress or discomfort, they attempt to commit suicide, usually by banging their heads on their cages if they're caged or on branches. Due to their small size, tarsiers are prey to snakes, owls, lizards, and cats. When a predator is present to the tarsiers, they surround the threat vocalizing and attacking it. How cute is that image? Well, not for the terrified tarsiers, but for us. While their groups only contain one male, when confronting a threat, other groups will join, meaning there's multiple alpha male tarsiers attacking and screaming. Aww. Number eight is the golden snub-nosed monkey. To continue with amazingly cute animals, here is the golden snub-nosed monkey, which is a creature that belongs in a fairy tale. It looks weirdly similar to an elf. They live about 10,000 feet above the ground and they're endemic to mountain forest of central and southwest China. Their population estimate ranges from 8 to 15,000 and they are considered an endangered species mainly due to habitat loss. Moms outrank barren females in these snub-nosed societies and males with multiple mates gain high status. They have rich golden brown to golden red fur and their tail is about the same length of their body. The golden snub-nosed monkey is one of five related species, remnants of once widespread populations whose ranges were squeezed by climate change after the last ice age. Number nine is the snow leopard. The snow leopard is native to the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia. Because its native habitat is closely tied to grazing grounds of its preferred prey, which is also the same land that farmers want to use for livestock, Guess what happens if the snow leopards keep eating the livestock? They will be killed by exasperated farmers. This is only one of the reasons snow leopards are considered vulnerable, although not yet endangered. Other reasons include habitat destruction following infrastructural development and, of course, poaching. The snow leopard's fur is whitish to gray with black spots on their head and neck, but larger rosettes on the back, flanks, a bushy tail, and a whitish belly. Their eyes are pale green or gray in color, and we might add, absolutely stunning. Number 10 is the Largabon. We close off today's top 10 with yet another monkey. The Largabon is also known as white-handed gibbon, and it's an endangered species going to critically endangered. Even though the threat caused by deforestation is on the decline, these animals are still overhunted for their meat. They're also captured in large numbers for the pet trade, even in protected areas. The fur coloring of the Largabon ranges from black and dark brown to light brown and sandy colors. The hands and feet are white colored, hence the nickname. And likewise, a ring of white hair surrounds their black face. Well, there you have it for today. These were our picks for the top 10 rarest animal species in Asia. Which one from the list did you like the most and why? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time with a new and fascinating Top 10.